much sought after legal backup came six days after the hippie invasion that threatened the Atwells with financial ruin. The paperwork now in the hands of the county sheriff, he'll decide when to enforce the court order and evict the trespassers. Mr Atwell delighted, he'd got the injunction and Eddie Shah had offered to pay his legal expenses. I didn't think we had so many friends um, and what not to ever come round to us and I am very pleased. And I wish, uh, I, I wish to thank them very much for what they've done and what they have promised. At the camp, the hippies were arriving back by taxis from Yeovil, where they'd been collecting their dole money and buying supplies. Their children frolicking naked in Mr Atwell's ruined silage field. We're getting ready to go, but I don't know when sort of thing, as soon as possible, really. We don't like going on farmers' lands. We don't need to do it yet. In the winter, we're just, like in small groups, but in the summer, like, we're used to a festival, they can give us a bit of Salisbury Plain. With the trespassers about to be moved on, local farmers were quick to blockade the entrances to their fields with farm machinery, piles of gravel and manure. So the people here have been ordered to go by the courts, although nobody knows quite when the order will be enforced. And nobody knows, of course, where they're going to go to. Mr. Atwell's problem today could well be some other farmer's problem tomorrow. Vernon Mann, News at 10, Lights Carey, Somerset.